President Nishani, the floor is yours. Thank you, sir. So, great, thank you so much. Thank you very much, and uh, I would like to start my, my speech thanking uh, The Economist for extending uh, such kind invitation to me and for offering such possibility to discuss, to learn and to share views, the ideas in a broad point of view. And uh, I would like to, to extend my grateful and, uh, and thanks to the host of this event for such uh, kind and uh, warm welcome and, and condition of work, thanking uh, Nizami Ganjavi International Center for supporting me to be part of this conference and all the, the guests of the summit. Uh, I'm a lover of tourism, I'm not expert in tourism. Uh, of course, I'm prepared uh, briefly, very briefly, to present some uh, small information about uh, tourism in my country. Uh, and mostly would like to, to focus on my uh, views, my speech, uh, on the dimension of the challenges of the tourism development. Mostly uh, considering the tourism uh, in our region, in Balkans, as a tool of uh, economic development, cultural development, civilization, regional cooperation, and on the other hand, even in framework of uh, European integration, uh, as a leverage, as a, as a tool for uh, bringing the European idea, European feeling close to this area, to the people of this area, uh, not just to the beauties, but even to opportunities to enjoy uh, each other in framework of uh, tourism. Albania, in fact, uh, has long been and considered as a Mediterranean Europe's enigma uh, because our self-isolation right after the Second World War until early so of the 90s. Uh, but fairly recently, it, uh, our ample mountains fortress towns, and sparkling beaches were discovered by foreign tourist agencies. In Albania, tourism is one of the largest sectors of economy, and along with energy, is one of the main contributors to our economy. Uh, tourism is characterized by its rich archaeological and cultural heritage. Today, the, must, the vast majority of tourists are concentrated in the summer months, coming on package holidays, mostly from the Eastern Europe, but many of them also from Italy and Sweden, arriving on charter flights and spending one or two weeks on the beach. The other side of the tourist industry in Albania that is very different from the mass market package tour are the culture and adventure tours tailored by small companies, launched by individuals who are passionate and about creating a very different kind of experiences. In 2014, the New York Times ranked Albania fourth among 52 destinations to be visited. Lonely Planet ranked Albania as number one destination to be visited on 2011. Albania is considered now to be a new Mediterranean love and Europe's last secret. 
and it, tourism is gradually diversifying uh, the offers. Hotel franchise opportunities are also present, particularly in tourist areas. The sector also offers opportunity to develop marinas. Export of boats and small yachts also represent promising opportunities. The UNESCO World Heritage Sites, like Berati, Butrinti in south of Albania, very close to the Corfu Island, and Girocastra City, offer a great opportunity to enjoy. There is potential, but there is a lot of needs to be done and to exploit the potential. So, everybody of us uh, like very much and can, can talk a lot about uh, the lovely and, and beauties things in our countries and around the world, especially on tourism, and we can talk a long time. But my belief and my view is that if we would like to project the sustainable strategies on uh, tourism development, we have to clearly identify the challenges, difficulties, weaknesses, and to design the proper strategies for facing them in order to create more opportunities and sustainable development in tourism. And because of that, for me, it's more important to focus on disadvantages, in difficulties, in weaknesses, in order to understand better each other and to create a clear picture for all those who'd like to be invested, not just as a business, but even as a policies. Albania has a great advantage, for example, dealing with the cost of tourism. It's very cheap. Years ago, when I was in office, I visited the north of the country, which is very beautiful. It's a boarding area with Montenegro. And we call this area Alps, because it's mounting up to 2,000 meters and more surrounding by forests, very rich forest areas and rivers. It's a beautiful one. And tourists, mostly from the Czech Republic, Polish tourists, and from Israel, like very much to come and to uh, enjoy the climbing there. Of course, there are not big hotels in this area, and we have encouraged to have guest houses in order to develop even the economy of local economies. And when I visited this area, I just uh, had a very nice uh, meeting with the local people there in a guest house. And the family asked me, what can you advise us for, for our uh, commitment in, in, in this kind of tourism? And because the cost of uh, a night in this guest house was just 10 euros for a bed and shower, and very rich breakfast with all organic things, starting from eggs, milk, honey, butter, just for 10 euros. My suggestion was that uh, keep warm, clean the house, and up a little bit price. Instead of 10 euros, let's go to the 15 euros per night. Uh, so still the cost is very cheap. But in front of that, we still suffer the quality of services, the standard of services. And I do believe that it's time to think for common policy and common commitments as a region for standardization of the services, especially through the training, education, and the tourism and tourism services field. Because Albania is not a big market, of course, but considering the entire line from Croatia, Montenegro, Albania, and Greece, we become a real strong market, an attractive market. 
for spending one, two, three days or a week along this place. But having the same standard on, on training uh, in this area, it's extremely important. Uh, investment on training and skilling the people who serve in tourism industry is extremely important. Uh, I would like just to uh, stay a little bit in this point and reflecting on my, my experiences. Uh, before being elected as a, as, a, as a president, I served my country as Minister of Interior and later as Minister of Justice. Uh, we have profited a lot from uh, European Union uh, investment and, and donations. And European Union is the main donors for, for Albanian. And we are so grateful for such great assistance and, and, and help. Hundred millions of euros have been invested in different fields. Uh, but my view is that in such a huge contribution and, and, and uh, assistance remains important uh, the efficiency of the investment, the efficiency of the donation uh, for distributing the uh, assistance in various fields. Based on my experience as Minister of Justice, we had immense assistance, but in f mostly focused on building new prisons with a cost which was from, started from 7, 8 million euro to 18 million euro for a prison. And of course, the Penitentiary policy is important, especially in uh, human rights dimension. But if we invest to build three prisons instead of six prisons, and the other money to support the training of the youth, especially on the tourism services field, is better. So we create an equilibrium on the society and the different field which include security and development. We cannot have development without security, but we cannot approach security without development. Uh, <coughs> so now I hopefully believe that in terms of regional cooperation, especially on, on the tourism field, we are going to consider and to offer possibility for investment on the training and education of the young generation on the tourism services, which, of course, serve to them, serve to local economy, but serve even to the uh, tourists who come from different countries of European Union. Uh, I would like just to focus a little bit even on so important issue which is very much discussed nowadays, not only in our region, in the Balkans, but even inside the European Union, which is the uh, further accession of the European Union or European integration process. Uh, first, I strongly believe on the European integration process for our region as extremely important one. Not because our region belongs to the culture, uh, to the mentality, and to the future of the European Union, but because it's need to, to create uh, not just the integration on political point of view, but in economy, in culture, and civilization. Of course, that in my belief, the European integration is not just the political. Uh, issue, but it's an economic one, it's a cultural one, it's a development one. Uh, three years ago, uh, focusing on development issue and economic issue, 
when the Chancellor Merkel gathered the European leaders and leaders from the Balkan countries in the Berlin summit discussing different issues among the energy security, uh, focus on economy, it was an excellent idea to invest in a highway called Blue Corridor, which will connect and facilitate tourism from Croatia, Montenegro, Albania, and Greece. Uh, it was foreseen as a European Union investment plus uh, the countries of Balkan region investment. It still remains a bright, brilliant idea, but still we have to push and to encourage starting such projects. It's true that this kind of project served developments of the region, but it served very much even to the connection to integration of the citizens of EU member countries with this region and with their needs to enjoy the fun of tourism. Because this area is offering tourism more than two or three months in the summertime. In this area, the tourism start, I, I, I'm talking about the, the beach tourism, starting in middle of June, extending till of end of September, <coughs> when the temperatures go up 27, 28. But it's not only the summer tourism, the winter tourism also is making day after day important uh, and uh, visited and enjoyed by the European tourists in this area. So, uh, in this context, uh, I deeply believe that this conference, this summit, will serve very much for a better understanding about the, the situation of tourism, of development of tourism, opportunities which we might uh, consider on, on, on tourism, and focus on some priorities because priorities and efficiency is making day by day m more important to societies, to economies, uh, to mechanisms and networks such European Union is itself, and to the regions which are thirsty for development and improvement. So even this uh, summit, I believe, that will uh, forward this, this spirit and uh, will keep in, 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 uh, in mind and in, the, in discussions such kind of uh, uh, views and, 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 and details. Thank you very much, Thank you very much. Uh, for your time.